All right, guys. Welcome to the 19th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. Got yo, Jay here yo. with me. Got Ivy in the back. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We're back with some more content for you guys. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking. Everybody that's been subscribing, yo, 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 yo. sharing, liking, hitting mm. the no mm. notification bell, and just rocking with us, man. We really appreciate it. You know what I mean? Um. We want to wish everybody a happy new year, all that good stuff. We hope everybody had a good time with the family, got to relax and unwind and all that great shit. Smoke some good weed. Yeah, smoke some good weed mm. and, and spend some time with the family, man, some quality time. But yeah, man, we're back with another episode and um, we're about to spark up, man. About to spark up on some uh, Platinum Kush. What are y'all boys smoking on today, man? Shit, man, I'm smoking on some cherry pie right now. I'm smoking on some Super fruit good. punch. Oh. Terry pie, fruit putt. Yeah, fruit putt is fucking fire, too. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that's and guys, fire. don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, please. You, with us? you know, yeah. if you like us, yeah. just press the red button right. right there, and then it'll pop up every time, you Come know, for a new for episode. Sure. But yeah. Well, yeah, man, we're back. Uh, we're back with another episode, and we're definitely... Uh, <laughs> We're we definitely got some, got some stuff to talk about today, <laughs> man, for sure. But uh, the first thing we're trying to do is a uh, shout out, shout out of the day. And the shout out of the day is definitely to to the family, you know what I'm saying? And um, just family that's really family, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of family talks, but, you know. No, like real, real family. Real family real. that's really there, you know they what I'm saying? Shout walk. out to you guys. Yeah, real, like, real. Through thick and thin, it doesn't matter what's going on, the family's there, so. Shout out to our family. Shout out to my unit. Shout out to my mom, my si my sister specifically. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, man, that's how we're rocking. We wanted to shout out our families today, so that's what we're doing. But um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get right into our first uh topic, and that's uh that's a topic that my homegirl actually brought up, and I think it's a good topic. Mm. Um, is college worth it? Is the debt that you go through, is the stress that you go through? You know, is all that stuff worth it for a piece of paper? Nope. I don't think so either. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think certain things require college. Like, if you're going to go be a doctor, you need that shit. Yeah. Right? Depends on your don't major. Don't be trying to read books and learn how to be a doctor. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's a fact. But for most shit, you want to learn business, you want to learn that. You shouldn't be having to pay out the ass to go learn business. You can learn business. No, you know. Yeah, you can learn it on your own. Yep. And the thing is, when you leave college, what's the thing they get you with? When you go, oh, you need to now work for free and get experience. Motherfucker, what I spent all this money for in all those years? Wasn't that right. my fucking experience? Now you're a hundred grand in debt, <laughs> and you can't get a job that pays you enough to pay off that student loan. Yo, so you're facts. in debt before you even have a house. You're still at your mom's house, but you're, you know, that's fact, you got to pay dude. off a house before you even have one. And that's yeah. not shitting on anybody that goes to college, please. No, this is not just at my all. Because, yeah, it's, like, not, it's not for everybody. I, nah. I know a lot of people I went to college, and I got love for all of them, but at the same time, it, it depends on your major, and I don't think it's worth it. And it's crazy because it's mo shit. most of the people I went to college agree with what we're saying right now. They don't, they don't, they go through it and then realize, yo, it's it's really not worth it, bro. I, I got all this debt, I can't pay it back. Yeah. I'm still not out of my parents' house. I'm getting paid minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? Well, so it's yeah, that kind of just like goes down to just having that status, like oh, I graduated from this school, or like a brand, like a, it's all branding. And it's not just that. A I lot think of some the people pe like school, like. Yeah, I, I think some yeah. people do, but a lot of a lot of people our age were were forced into it by the baby boomer generation when college actually meant something. And college. that piece of paper, that piece of paper could go get you somewhere, <laughs> bro. You could have everybody has a bachelor's. Everybody has a bachelor's nowadays. And associates, and, and associates. like that's not getting you nowhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, in our opinion, is it really worth it? No. Is but, there a lot you can learn in college? Yes, but there is there is can you learn the same thing on your own? Yes. Yes. Depending, like we said, on what type of uh, I'm high as hell, but what um, type of yeah. uh, major you have? Major you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Ah, I get it. yeah. I was burning up. Because if you're going in for psychology, I mean, it's either one thing that you're gonna do. Bro, I'm a psychiatrist right. like, on my own. I watch like <laughs> 20 YouTube. Videos. I got like 100 hours of YouTube. Videos. Yeah. I'm pretty much <laughs> like a real psychiatrist. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty close. Yeah. That's how I'm like know. a self proclaimed self proclaimed yeah. psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. You know they had, they had those Instagram models and they'd be like a self proclaimed Instagram model. That means you think you're a model. You say you're a model. Mm -hmm. but nobody's saying this except you. That's a fact. It's just so, like a mechanic. You awesome. might have two or three yeah. dudes trying to hit telling you you should be a model, but that doesn't. Yeah, mean you exactly. Are. <laughs> so I'm a self proclaimed psychiatrist. You don't need to go to school to learn how to fix a car. Like you could just look on YouTube yeah. and be like, how can I change this specific part? Yeah. But a lot of people you know? are lazy. They, yeah, they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. They would rather pay somebody a shit ton of money than fuck up a few times. Yeah, for real. 
Don't be a piece of shit, people. Learn. Learn your shit. I don't have patience for people who just fucking... But you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I yeah man. So uh, that, the consensus of that, is college worth it? You heard it from all of us. We don't think it's worth it. Let us know in the comments if you guys, yeah. you know, went to college and it worked out for you or if it didn't. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I, I know, know. I know. I've seen some people that are making bands yeah. that graduated, you know? Yeah, facts. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. Fact. But yeah, sense. man, we're going to move on to the next subject and that's... Uh, should passwords affect your future? Should your passwords be able to affect your future? Should your pass affect your future? <clears throat> and uh, my opinion on that is, uh, I'm sure that if a lot of people today in society were going to be honest and say that if their pass affected the future, it depends to the severity. Like, if you were a fucking child molesting piece of shit, I don't think I could forgive that. I'm right, sorry. Like right. you did something that's just unforgivable to yeah, me in my eyes. That's just my opinion. I yep. agree. But if you want to forgive people, I mean, but like somebody that you know killed somebody, they shot somebody when they were young. Maybe they were teenagers. Maybe it was like over oh, gang. Like mm-hmm. maybe it was something stupid. Maybe it was all oh, they stole this. So I killed them. Like there's never a right reason. There's, there's never no, an yeah, excuse. Fact. But at the same time, I'm not gonna judge you for something that you said or might have done that long ago. You know, ten, fifteen years ago, because people change. Yeah, Before and that's the that's the, the key. Mm-hmm. That exactly. That's the thing. Like you can't you can't judge somebody you know, you can't judge somebody if they change. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they really if they really change, then you know, accept that person for who they are instead of who they were. Don't mm-hmm. look at them for who they were. Look exactly. at them for who they are. Exactly. But if they're still the same person, mm-hmm. like they're still the same conniving person, then you know fuck what I mean? Them. It's for you. Yeah, it's like it is what it is. There's yeah. a Judas in every crew. There's yeah. a Judas in every crew. Absolutely. But, but the yeah. thing is that I, I don't think people should be depending on the situation. Like I said, if you were like a child, child molester, I don't forgive you. I'm sorry. No. Nah, you could change all you want, but I'm just that shit's fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Or you could just be a thief, and then you learn over time that it's not okay to be a thief. Right. And you just stop doing it. Right. When you're a teenager, I'm sure everyone can vouch for this. That I'm sure I don't think the same that I did when I was a teenager. No, you, you know think way saying? different. A whole different person. And not even from six, five, five, six years ago, bro. It's crazy. Exactly. Like, exactly. like I'm only 25, bro, and I think about how I was thinking at 18, and I'm like, yo, you thought you were I was a piece of shit. Yeah, like I was just, off. I was on some dumb shit. Like that's why I, I don't know, man. Like that's another topic we could talk about, like age brackets and like age groups, like. I feel like once you're at a certain age, you shouldn't be hanging out with a younger crowd. Speaking of that, uh, how about Adrian Broner hitting up that bad guy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I heard about that. Hey, 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 Adrian Broner. He's, you're 30 years old, bro. You're He's 16, tripping, bro. bro. That's crazy. He supposedly said that he didn't know, and then he came out and apologized, Man. saying, like, oh, my bad, I didn't know. You but, are, yo, everyone knows the Cash Me Outside girl. Yo, you're, everyone a, you're officially it. a weirdo. Yeah, like, everybody yeah. knows that that girl's a little girl. Yeah, everyone bro. Knows. My guy. My guy. Little girls know she's a little girl. You knew exactly who the fuck that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> like, you knew exactly, you knew exactly what, what the fuck was going trip. on. You thought that because you were older and you got a little money and you're a little famous that she might just go with it. Nah, nah. nigga. You're a creep and she's that's fucked. She's a fuck. kid. Yeah. yeah. I have a daughter that's like three years away creep. from 16. I know. That's, bro, that's super cool. That's bad. I have run up on that dude. If that nah, was my daughter. For real. Yeah, for real, for real. Catch you slipping. My little girl. Mm. Facts. Big that's a fact. For real? Yeah, nah, that's yeah, too much. Nah, nah, that's, that's disgusting. Un pelbe, we... un pelbe. No. <laughs> un pervert. Un pervert. 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 For real. Nah, Fuck for you. Real, real. <laughs> Shout out the day of to, uh, the donkey of the day would be him. Nah, man. <laughs> donkey that's crazy, man. Day. Talk about donkeys and shit. Fat. Let's talk about all the animals that are dying in Australia, Yo, bro. That's some like it's some serious shit. Yeah, it numbers is. on that. It, is, it, is. Numbers on, it was on like that. half. Nah, it was a half a million, I believe. Yeah. If I'm not Let's mistaken, look up the half a billion. Report. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But that's crazy. It doesn't matter. That's still a lot of fucking animals. Yeah, for real. That's still a lot of animals that we lost. There's Maybe a wide. Daniel. There's a widely reported estimate that almost a half a billion, 480 mm. million animals have been killed by the bushfires oh, in Australia. So, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is crazy. That's man. bad. I was bro. close. That's yeah. gonna affect their ecosystem. Hell yeah. For a minute. Oof. A minute, Oof. bro. Like. A couple hundred years. Bro, that's devastating. I saw that's the video. I saw the video. Of the lady trying to just pour water 
on oh, top of the koala. Yeah, yeah, on that top was of the sad, bro. like, and it was burning, bro. I, I teared up a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, cause I don't like that. Damn. That shit bugs the fuck out of me, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know animals what I'm saying? are like, animals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was that. like, damn, cause I'm an animal person, bro. So oh, I thought you was about to say I'm an animal, but I was gonna, nah, I was gonna, nah, agree, nah, I was gonna agree with you That's my, I was gonna agree. Nah, that's my. What's that? What's that shit called? Your spirit. Spirit animal, yeah. spirit animal, Beast animal mode, Beast you know? Mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, you, yeah. you look all mess, but you're really a dick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I fuck you up. <laughs> you know? Oh, you, say you look all nice, but you really a pee pee. Yeah, yeah, for real. You got the claws. They look all like crazy and shit. I'm uh, yeah, not an animal lover, really. Nah, it's <laughs> that's fucked up. I hate all animals. Nah, nah but it, it's definitely that's that's some that's crazy, crazy shit, man. I feel bad. Bro. How long like, have those fires been going on, like? Dude, it's Australia, though. Isn't that, like, a lot of dry lands, bro? Yeah, Australia is pretty dry, bro. That's bro, crazy, though. That's, that's a lot of kangaroos, not just, like... Nah, but supposedly the Irv- Irwin, Irwin, you remember yeah, uh, the yeah. crocodile hunter? Yeah. His family, they actually, uh, like, support, I guess they took in, like, a whole bunch of, like, animals, her animals. Damn, yeah, man. You know, so shout out, shout out to them, because... Yeah, yeah, shout out to the uh, crocodile hunter's family, man. Bro, yeah, cause that's, that's crazy, big. though. That's that many big. animals? Yeah. That's true, what you, what you said, bro. The that's ecosystem, gonna them, bro. ouch. That's going to affect It's going to, you know, man, oof. Bro, that's a lot of fucking animals. That's a lot animals. of animals. Yeah. That's a lot of food sources. That's a lot. Yeah. That's that's a lot, bro. Yo, that's crazy. But our, yeah, man, our prayers go yeah, out to you. Our prayers go yeah, out to everybody, all, everybody in, Australia in Australia. And everybody that's Straight affected up. by the bushfires. All the animals, man. Damn, bro. Like, yeah. that. that's crazy. That's really crazy, but um, but yeah, yeah we're gonna wild. move on to the next subject, and it's something that I wanted to talk about, something that um, people in our age group aren't really practicing enough of, mm. and that to me that's delayed gratification. That's like putting off your fun, putting off certain things, making cer- certain sacrifices right now in order to make sure that <sighs> your life is where you want to be, your life is where where you want it to be in ten, fifteen, twenty years. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Thanks. Like, that's true. Like, how do y'all feel about that, man? Like, how do you feel about... We live you know, in a YOLO generation. Yeah. Like, fuck it, man. Let's just... We'll do it tomorrow. Let's just buy fucking $500 worth of cocaine. <laughs> Blow it all. You know what? I make memories. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make money. Make memories. <laughs> you know what I mean? But... Nah, man. Don't but, make money. Make memories. That's going to be on the merch. Yeah. Okay, Don't, Don't make money. Don't make, make money. memories. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck or it. make money to make memories. Fuck saving money. Yeah. Nah, bro. Listen, no, I'm just man. kidding. People blow their money. I can vouch. You blow yourself some money, and then later on, in your younger, you know, years, the early 20s, when you're going through your 20s, it hurts you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be wise with your funds and invest them. What you could be spending a week, do your math on cigarettes. Do the math in a year, what you spend. A bottle. Max, you drinking. know, yeah, like there's people that buy alcohol every other day. They buy a pack of cigarettes every day. Yep. They, you know, I used to smoke cigarettes. Unhealthy, yeah, unhealthy, yeah, fast food, you know. Starbucks, shout out to you. Just overindulging Starbucks. in anything, bro. Even spending like all your check on like clothes or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's certain things that like you just gotta just make a. There's a yeah. balance to everything. Yeah. There's a balance. Like you, you could go do your thing, bro. Get fly for a day, but remember, you can't go spend every check on miscellaneous shit because. If you have a goal and in twenty years you're trying to be set, it's not gonna that's work. That's not out. how it's gonna happen. Yeah. You know Facts. what I mean? Like it's true. That's true. I feel like you should just, you know, just start with something small when you're young. You know, make a little Edward Jones account, put like a grand in there and watch it grow. Facts. You know, because I know people personally that are doing that. It's like a little oh, CD. Yeah, they're chilling too. You know, and you're not working for your money, like you said. Yeah, you having your money, your money work, work for you. For you. Yeah. You yeah. you know, you put some you put you put a certain amount of money to work for you while you're focused on other endeavors. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You go and you focus on more money. And Making then make your businesses, businesses, get more yeah. businesses, and they make more businesses. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, shout out to you. Facts. Yo, shout out, yeah. For real, crazy. for real. But yeah, man, that's just something that I wanted to talk about. Because like I said, you know, we're younger. We're not, we're not like, you know, the oldest <laughs> crew, but, <laughs> but yeah, man. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, John, 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 oh, yeah. John, <laughs> hey, we're moving on to the next subject. <laughs> John wanted to bring up, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> coughing. <laughs> yeah, John. Yeah, All right, let's, talk, let's talk about it, King. Nah, nah, nah. <coughs> nah, let's talk about it for real, because it's a big ass subject, man. I posted it on Twitter today. Say what you want. Say I didn't. It. No one had the Speak balls to mind, comment. Bro. Speak your mind. Or say their mind about it. So I don't know. It's just something I've been noticing around the world. You know, I got black friends. I got 
bro, I'm I'm half Spanish. You know, I was born in Puerto Rico. You know what I mean? My dad's from Norway. So I got I got a lot of different stuff in me. I'm like a mutt, you know? But what uh, I'm yeah. saying, man, is pretty much I see a lot of different things. I feel like the just the standards, like double standard thing, like for black and white. You know, I look at these colleges and stuff like that. They have a lot of just black colleges. But if they have a white college, you know, there would be such a big ass scene about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Word. They got Black Lives Matter, but why can't we have a White Lives Matter parade? If you guys are doing the Black Lives Matter. He said, why can't we have a White Lives right. Matter? Yeah, he's part of that. I'm telling you that Norwegian side comes out of him real quick. No. <laughs> but I got... Yeah, co- hey. got no, no, no. I got, I got cousins no, that are black. Not, I got cousins. Not, bro, that's not what I'm saying. I don't, no. I don't care about any of that. Bro, the thing, I, I mean, think if you're exactly ghetto, you're ghetto. You know what I'm matter, saying? And that's it. No, but the thing is, you know what? That goes yeah. back to what we talked about before. Just everything. You know, certain things are okay, certain things are not. You know, it's like, okay, these people can't get braids, but these people can get, you know, long, straight hair. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's right. just like, it's just a double standard for everything. That's yeah, it. it, it. Why didn't we just mind our own fucking business? Or like, the I'm scholarships. Like, I'm they got Puerto scholarships. Rican, bro, but I don't give a fuck if somebody's like walking around. Like, if, if their wife is Puerto Rican, he's a white guy, right? And he has a necklace with a Puerto Rican flag. I'm not that guy that's like, oh, why are you wearing that? You ain't Puerto Rican. Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. You represent for me. Hey, I'm not going to be like, oh, use a culture vulture. Right. Like, bro, what's culture vulture? We want to get into it. Oh, everybody wants to do reggaeton now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, everybody wants. Like, fuck out of here. That's cool. I yeah. want, I want um, you know, some country singer to come and hop on a reggaeton song and drop a whole reggaeton album. That'll be cool to me. Word. You know, yeah. I fucks with it. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna be like, oh, fucking, he's just trying to do that to get the fucking Latino. Vote. My thing is, my thing is, I, like, at the end of the day, I feel like, Uñeta. I feel like people, when they hear racism, it's just white. It's just white people that are racist. Nah, listen, bro. Yeah, that's true. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people feel like there's, like, there's white, it's just white and black, and it's not. Mm. There's something in between yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the and Mexicans like, are going through it right now. All facts. Right, like, right now. everybody goes through their own set of problems. Facts. Latinos, we go through our set of bullshit here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, every race every gets race treated race some type gets of way. treated different by other races. Mm. It is what it is. At this point, it's like... There's no point. There's no. There's no point in in complaining about it. Just treat people how you want to be treated, and you be the difference. And let's in the just world. stop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nip no. it in the butt. Because you can. You can. Trajectory. You can have. Now we're not saying yeah. let somebody disrespect you either. That's nah, true. You know what I'm saying? That's if true. If somebody's disrespectful, hey, handle your shit. But yeah. at the same time, just be the change that you want to see in the world. Don't try to change everybody else. Like, yeah. You. You know what I'm start saying? Start with you. Be yeah. Be the change you want to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Cause if it doesn't matter, man, what color you are, bro. Cause I've seen some crazy things in every single race. I see racism in every race. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it real, bro. There's racism amongst Puerto Ricans Hell between yeah. the light skins and the and the dark yeah, skins. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. There's mad racism in every culture, bro. Like it, it's just, I think it's something that's ingrained in humans, <laughs> like to not to just be prejudice like just prejudge because that's what that means like you prejudge but that's the media too you, you know what i mean that's the media trying the to like business yeah they're there to make money exactly that's like this war stuff they're programming oh, the you. draft they're gonna ins- oh, about bring the draft that's out. a fact that's why that's, that's why it's, that's, that's why it's yeah. called the television program, program. what is it the, somebody once said i don't remember don't quote me but they said i'm just paraphrasing they're like whoever controls the media controls the minds exactly it's true because you know the mean? definition <laughs> of programming is installing information in a sleep and, and something that's not active yet so that when you turn it on it automatically does it what you want it to do so that's what programming is when you when they turn on whatever it is you know what i'm saying they're doing to us yeah like they're programming you that's to like, a I different don't say, way i used to watch the news i used to be obsessed with they want every us morning, bye, bye, bye. Nah, they want bro. us to hate iran they want they want us to they want us to hate each other period. exactly but i just don't like i fucks with all races right I just don't know why the fuck we gotta be so ignorant. Ignorant meaning like you know, lacking knowledge. If you look at the definition, Fact. it's just pure ignorance that would be like, oh, because of that person's skin color, because they do this, or because they believe in this god or that god. Like even Muslim. religious people, they don't, they don't like, they don't want us to be like in relations with Muslim too. Like, but you know? the thing is, like, I fucks with everybody. Yeah. Like I don't give a fuck. I judge you by your character who Fair. you are like yeah. if you're a piece of shit you're a piece of shit i don't care if you're puerto rican if you're chinese if you're black if you're white if yeah. you're brown if you're whatever the fuck you want to be if you're an alien 
Film, you know, Area 51, shout out to y'all there locked up. The stereotypes, too. If y'all it's cool with me, I'm going to be cool with you. Yeah. And there is a ton of stereotypes. Like, you know, like, white people be having those that joke at work. Like, you got a knife on you? Oh, Puerto Ricans carry knives on you, man. <laughs> yeah. No, Paul, I don't, but I got a gun, bitch. Yeah. Check, check Seriously. that. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I'm just kidding. Nah. <laughs> I do have a knife, though. Shout out to <laughs> all you Latinos with a knife. I got a knife, too. That is no, crazy. For real. That's crazy. I guess it's not a stereotype. It's real, guys. Yeah. All Latinos do carry knives. Have you ever had brass knuckles? I've always... Uh, well, John, I'm not going to fucking incriminate myself. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I've had a pair of brass knuckles. I've never had brass knuckles. Nah, me I either, bro. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <coughs> I've seen somebody get fucked up by a pair of brass me knuckles. Me too, bro. bro. My boy got hit in the face. That shit so ain't bad, no bro. joke, man. Nah. Do you think... Like, like, what happens if you get into a fight and you just kill somebody with one punch? What do you do? Some uh, people you, are sitting you go to jail in jail for, jail for life. For you know what manslaughter is? That's oh like, my god. You didn't you really mean to that do shit? it? That's horrible, bro. You're defending yourself. You hit him one time. It happened to that UFC fighter, remember? Or not a UFC oh. fighter. I think that younger dude where that guy came after him. And he turned around and he punched the dude. And the like, it was an older dude. He fell down and he hit his head and died. Yeah, and he bro. charged him with manslaughter, bro. There's people that are sitting in prison right now for that type of shit. Like that movie fell in. Remember that? That's why yeah. you gotta be careful, man. When you go out, like... That's why anybody that knows me, whenever we go out, like, I don't, I barely do it anymore. But whenever we go out, bro, I try to de-escalate whatever situation is about to happen before it happens. Because somebody might not make it home that night off of some yeah. stupid bullshit. You know what That's I'm saying? True. Like, real real talk. Like, no, everybody that came should be going right back to where they came from at the end of the night. Yeah. Like, no mom needs to be getting a call at 2 in the morning. Oh, your son's in the ICU. He might not make it because yeah. of a fucking fight. Over you know what I'm saying? Like, over some stupid shit that mm. wouldn't matter in the next 10 minutes. You know what I'm That's saying? True. Like, And the fact that alcohol is involved, I believe that we can... Everyone's worried about marijuana. Back, back again, I've said this before. Yeah, yeah, let's, about let's, let's, talk let's talk about it. No, no, no. It. You know, I got something alcohol. to say. How many yeah, stoners that you ever I hear got, people getting high and you know what? fight yeah, breaking up? Yeah. Facts. That's true. Right? And you know what really bothered me about? I'm glad that you... Oh, man, that's perfect. Because this was today. I was getting my windows tinted, right? Mm. And I had a joint in my pocket, rolled, pre-rolled. Ooh. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. And I'm like, you know, I have it in my hand, Geo sees it with me. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, he goes around the corner, he's like, put it away. <coughs> like whispering. Mm. I'm like, so I put it back in my pocket, and I guess he don't want me to smoke it. Because I was going to wait, it was two hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there. two up. So he's like, nah, 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 don't do it. You know, it was out of respect. Yeah, yeah, you man, know what man. I mean? But... <laughs> you know what really bothered me the most is that he handed me a Heineken. He was like, "Here, mm, like that's better." Right. But I'm about, mm. oh, and he kept asking me, "Do you want more? You want more? Like, like that's not gonna get me drunk." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And then you want me to drive after I'm done? You know what I mean? How? Let's just get into that type of. If you want to think like that and get really, yeah. really detailed, that's Big it's, fat. it's true. Yeah. yeah like bro. it's but not that- okay. I feel like, honestly, as Hispanics, that's something that's embedded in our culture, too. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's something that's like, when you show up to somebody's house, the first thing, especially in a Puerto Rican household, is like, oh, papi, get out of your mind. Get out of your Oh, you want something to drink? When yeah. I said, bands, I don't shut, whatever. Like, you, they offer you shots or whatever. Yeah. Like, it, it, that's the first thing that happens. But when you like, light up a joint, it's like, oh, yeah, you're crazy. Oh, oh, you're crazy. Oh, oh, oh. But they're all taking yeah, shots in the yeah. fucking cut. They're all yeah. taking yeah. shots. They're all, they're all drinking beer. Hippie and quick. behind the fucking closed doors, they're, they're popping do- pills. And yeah. Shit. No, 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 or no, or no, they no, might be sniffing no, some. Straight up. Some blow. It's blow. It's blow. Yeah, blow, pills, whatever, bro. But the day that you smoke this. Oh, no, no. But let me light a cigarette. Right. Let me just light a cigarette and see how okay. Just it's, because it's legal, well, guess what? Everything that's legal ain't good for you. That's true. Everything that's legal isn't isn't the best for you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. sometimes you gotta question and read between the lines and be like, why did they make this illegal? Maybe it's because they don't want the masses to actually open their mind up to something. Big, Maybe it's because they don't facts. want the masses to realize that they're doing controlled population control. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're controlling the population with cigarettes, with alcohol. How many people die every night yeah. in drunk, <coughs> drunk driving accidents? Yeah. How many people die every night off of old, uh, alcohol poisoning? Bro, cell you know phones are like, more dangerous than, uh, than marijuana. Think about that. How many bro. more marijuana inc- accidents are there due to cell phones or due to marijuana? 
It's crazy, and you know that in Statistics. Illinois, in Illinois, they're gonna it's gonna be recreational in a few months, and they were it's talking about is. yeah, and oh, they blew out is. records, and though. they were saying they were saying that now they're they have a police force specifically uh, targeting impaired drivers, and they're gonna have a test that takes your blood. It's a blood test. No, I don't believe that. It. They, Bro, I'll fight in court. No, I'm saying uh, I'll fight. I'm saying like that. Like oh, they like, can say they yeah, can take like, my blood. That's not gonna prove anything. That's not gonna prove anything. I'll take you to court on that and, and verify. I had a whole thirty like, days. That could have been the past thirty. Yo, days. Yo, what's the validity of that yeah. test and the accuracy of that test by court? You gotta show me that's proof yeah. that y'all can tell that I just smoke and that I'm impaired. Yeah. What in that test? Let's. That's you know? crazy, man. That that's like. In, invading another level of privacy. Yeah, fuck you know what I'm saying? That. Because just because you have a suspicion and you're out here trying to fucking go. Oh, actually, you know what, what was like, that? Illinois? I gotta, yeah. Oh, uh, I got a better idea. If the cops want to, like, if I'm ever in Illinois and I'm driving by, by, and they do that, I'm like, yo, I got a better way you can suck that. And I was like, it's going to be more accurate. I'd be like, you can suck my dick. <laughs> And um, that's gonna give you the the most THC levels <laughs> that I, that I have. You let me know what it I mean, like, like uh, that's the only way I can you can probably verify the fastest. I mean, and it has to know. be a female officer. <laughs> it's probably no, <laughs> it's probably as good as the test, right? Yeah. It's probably as good nah. as the test. That's no, what I'm saying because that's about as accurate as that test is gonna be. Nah, like man. what are they looking for in that test? Okay, that's so gonna okay, be able to okay. tell so that you smoked let's, twenty let's, minutes ago. So that exactly. means that if you take my blood, that means that it's going to test for everything. So you can tell if I'm taking pills, people, if I'm doing sure. cocaine, I if I'm doing heroin. They're very uneducated and they're very old school. And I think that they're treating it like alcohol. Yeah. And it's you not know the same thing. Like, it's not the same thing at all. Yo, and honestly, it's tests. been it's been proven in certain studies. You know what I'm saying? People question the, stu- question the studies because it's like, you know, they, they come from different, like, you know, doctors and stuff. But... There's there's studies out here that show that people that drive under the influence of marijuana actually drive safer. You know what I'm saying? They're not out here. They're not the ones out here fucking you know racing. What we're um, turning the blinkers on. You know what I mean? But you know <laughs> like, what they say, though? They say that it's your reaction time. Supposedly, that's what they say, that your reaction time's slower. Okay, we get that. I totally agree. Maybe it's true. But how many people die, right, from alcohol-related incidents? As opposed to marijuana. No, like, a, let's look at numbers. That's what I'm talking about. Like they could say whatever. Numbers they want. don't lie. The numbers don't lie. There's ridiculous amounts of alcohol related deaths. Every How day. many marijuana related deaths there are besides gang violence over money that has to do with marijuana? Besides that. But that's that's and a if whole. If they legalize, it's going to put a dent and, in yeah, that that's market. A, that's a, exactly. And as soon as it's legalized, that's going to put a dent in that in that scenario. Like I mean, that's, but they're not going to wipe them out. I mean, this like, California is still not. thriving out there. Not, no, but listen, the black market will never die. Yeah. Never. Mm-hmm. What never. about the Super Bowl commercials? They don't. They never have ads about you know marijuana, but they got ads for Budweiser and all these they th- all these alcohol companies. Why? Um, uh, there was a company, marijuana company, you know? that was going to um, it wanted to run their ad on the Super Bowl, and they said no. We got three minutes, huh? We got three minutes, yo. So yeah, what does man. that mean? That means we're gonna wrap this shit yeah, the facts, fuck up. Facts. That means that we appreciated everybody that boom, came boom, and boom, rocked boom, with boom. us again for the nineteenth episode. We appreciate everybody that's liking, uh, sharing, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. And please, man, go down in the comments and interact with us. Let us know yeah, what nice. you guys want to hear. For Let real. us know what you guys like, what you don't like. Let us know what you guys want to see us give away at 1,000 subscribers. Do you agree because with us? Do you again, not agree with us? Yeah. Do you agree with what we say? Do you not agree? And let us know why you do or don't. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, like I said, at 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving something away Something nice, so please let us know Facts. what you guys will want to see us give away, or you know whatever. Like just just let us know, man. It's, yeah, it's been yours truly, low key. John, Jay, we out this bitch. But yeah, yo yo.